and welcome back to my channel I'm Sydney if you're new here I've been up in Adam for a little bit and I just left a pretty exciting meeting I'm kind of like my head is all over the place because I just left the design meeting for a new home first home <laughs> I cannot even believe it but today was basically choosing flooring and choosing cabinets and faucets and holes on all of the cabinets and gosh what else did we do like whether I was gonna do wiring in the closets and in the pantry and change that out for wood panel or wood like planks I guess oh my gosh there's just like so many different decisions to make and I am so excited I just like I feel like this is just unreal that I'm at a spot in my life where I am doing adult things like this I'm like am I not still 14 years old but <laughs> it's the craziness I am so beyond excited and I just can't wait to show you guys as everything comes together it seems like I haven't been able to like really tell you guys everything throughout this process just because I obviously want everything to be finalized before I'm like hey I'm moving into this house I'm buying a house I'm building a house I'm doing all these things just because so many things could change in the early stages but now I feel like I can show you guys more and it was really exciting I I think this is gonna be like a dream of a home for me and I just I don't know I can't wait I can't believe it but headed home now and I'm gonna eat something I'm absolutely starving I had a little snack before I left had some coffee but the, the meeting ran a little bit longer than what I expected it to and then I have uh, a little bit of a drive not much but a little bit of a drive home and then um, pretty much the only reason I have a little bit of a drive is because traffic in Tampa is insanity at this time at any time in the morning or in the evening traffic is insanity so I'm gonna eat something and then I had laser done yesterday on my face which this one was BBL and which is such such a funny name like BBL I when they were like we're gonna give you BBL I'm like what <laughs> uh, and then the next one will be doing moxie on my face and this is for um, hyperpigmentation and for acne scarring which I think that my acne is pretty much taken care of knock on wood for the most part uh, but now it's my acne scarring that's still there and so even when my face is like clear it still looks like I have marks all over my face because of the acne scarring so uh, I'm gonna be doing a very good job at making sure I don't pick at my face when I do break out I think that's something I've struggled with in the past where I'm like I, I can't not touch something when I have something going on with my skin um, but that it's not worth acne scarring that's for sure and then moxie will definitely I heard that that is like super duper painful and yesterday it kind of felt like a rubber band was snapped on my face it was not pleasant and it wasn't comfortable at all whatsoever but it was not horrible I heard moxie is the opposite that it's just like it's very horrible um, so I'm headed home and we're gonna get ready for the gym. I can't do much I think that I might just be doing like a light walk first I need to eat obviously and then um, We're just gonna do a pretty typical work day I might go to a coffee shop to get some work done today because I have a lot of computer work and Yeah, that's my update for you guys right now, but this morning had me I don't think that anything seemed like real and official until I was in this design room and choosing like the finishes on a home where I'm like wait this is like real this is like real stuff and yeah so there's a life update for you guys I guess and more to come of course but I will see you guys when I get home here's breakfast this morning I actually just had a fruit smoothie 
I did um, protein powder with some frozen berries. I was on the phone with my mom, so I didn't vlog it, but now I'm gonna have my omelet, and I did two whole eggs, and then five servings of egg whites, and then I added on some ketchup. I'm gonna leave it to the coffee shop soon, but I wanted to show you guys some of the things I got from White Fox. This is what I'm wearing right now, my whole White Fox outfit right now with these cute little biker shorts that match this top. It's like a very matchy matchy set. And I actually got a couple different things in this font from White Fox. I got a matching sweat set, which these are, can you see, crazy lighting. These are the sweatpants that I got, and I always get extra small in the sweats from White Fox, and they're definitely like a comfy, oversized look, and then I get the small medium of the sweatshirt. Let me grab the sweatshirt really quick. Yes, I got a small medium of the matching sweat set, and I'll show you guys what a small medium looks like on this can you, so you guys can see how the fit looks. I will always recommend sweat sets and like loungewear from White Fox. They're my favorite. And I think they're like everyone's favorite right now. But as you can see, it's definitely an oversized look because this is a small medium and it's like the perfect comfy fit of a sweatshirt. Here's the back of this hoodie. They're just all like very simple but so cute and perfect for a lounge outfit. I wore, I think, a sweat set from there to fly the other day and I got so many compliments. And I was late to the game for White Fox, but once I started wearing White Fox, I'm like, yeah, I understand the hype. And I think everyone's starting to like kind of get on board with the sweat sets and also their trousers. Like I love their cargo pants. So we'll do a little try on haul, but I also got this t-shirt that's very similar to the one I have on. It's this gray one, White Fox Leisure. And then the same biker shorts that I have right now are these navy ones as well and i was like a little bit skeptical because you guys know i'm pretty picky about my uh biker shorts but they're so comfy and they're definitely more of like a cute loungewear where i wear slides and like cute purse throw on some sunglasses that's definitely what i'm going to do today and then i'm going to try on these are the ones I'm most excited about. I haven't actually tried them on yet, but I can tell that these are gonna be a summer pair of pants if they fit me right. They are extra small, and I figured I would just wear these over like a bikini and wear it with a bikini, and I also got a white bikini from there. Here's the bikini that I got from them. It's definitely more of a cheeky bikini, but I really like just like a plain, simple white bikini, and then I envisioned wearing these as like I could wear this with a top as well, but just to throw on over a bikini in the summer, throw on some flip flops. I think I'm gonna try this on with the top as well because I don't know if they're as like linen, throw on beach bottoms as what I thought they were. I still think it looks cute though. I also got a plain black shirt. Let me find that. Okay, here's the black top that I like and I love just a simple like either a one button or a little zip right here or this one's a twist top and i think it's simple and cute i think that i would probably wear this with you guys know i have those white box baggier jeans maybe i would wear them like that i don't mind it with this though i think that this looks pretty cute i also got this which i don't have anything that i really know i want to wear under it but I got this lace top and you could wear like a lace bralette underneath or maybe just like a plain black little tank underneath. And I got a size small in that. So it's pretty typical like true to size. And then I got another pair of like cargo trouser type pants that have this little fasten up front. So we can try those on too. And these are also super cute to just throw on over a bikini maybe. Okay, so these are actually a little bit more form-fitting than I was expecting, so they're a little bit tighter on the butt. I got a size extra small in these, which they're still cute. I think instead of wearing these as like loose throw-on pants, I would probably wear them with like my New Balances or maybe like a white or a gray top with this. Wow, this is so pretty. So I'm going to Puerto Rico here in a couple weeks. I will 100% be taking this with me, this two-piece set. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling myself in this. I love this. I feel like a little princess. It makes me want to go on a date night and wear this, but I think that I need to save it for vacation because this is a perfect vacation outfit. Wow, I love 
I'm sure you guys can tell I'm definitely in vacation mode. So this is this little sarong that I plan on wearing with this white bikini and it's exactly what I was picturing. Looks so cute together. But I also got this other cover up from White Fox, which this is actually my first time getting a bikini from White Fox and I'm really impressed. But I got this see-through cover up as well and I got a size small in that. I figure I will probably just throw back on what I had on earlier and then go get some work done. But thank you so much, White Fox, for sponsoring today's YouTube video. You guys can use my code Sydney Adams on all of your White Fox purchases, and I will make sure to link everything in my description as well. But y'all know I love my White Fox trousers and cargo pants, so I got a couple more of those. The jeans I always wear are White Fox, the ones that I wear that are always baggy. And yes, I'm like slowly but surely getting out of just getting loungewear and pants from them now that I know that they have really good bikinis and also some stuff that I can wear on my vacation in a couple weeks. So let's get changed back into our other clothes and we will go get some stuff done. I think since I'm back on like the summer kick where I feel like I'm in a summer mood, I'm back into my fruit smoothie game. But here's a little mixed berry smoothie with some chocolate protein. Voila. Hi guys, it's been a little bit. I just left the gym or I am in the parking lot for the gym. Hi, here's my steering wheel. Hello. I will put this down. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I just left the gym and let me just catch you up to speed on what today's been like, I suppose. I've kind of been all over the place with my mind and I have some days, holy Moses, it's hot. I feel better now that I did a walk and today is 100% my rest day. I'm not supposed to sweat at all because of laser yesterday. So I was going to do some upper body because I don't typically sweat much during upper body. But I could tell that today was just a day that my body needed rest. So I walked at like a 2.8. I hardly even was walking, but I needed to clear my mind a little bit. And I had to proof watch a YouTube video. And I was like, okay, we're just at least going to move the body. Get some movement in. We'll feel a little bit better after. And I definitely feel a little bit better. Today's been one of those days where I just kind of feel like I'm taking one step forward, two steps back. There are days like that, but... I get in my own way and I think that we all do a little bit so I figured I'd talk about this a little bit because I know that sometimes I'll beat myself up and I'll be like oh my gosh I'm not being productive enough I'm not doing enough I am not really like taking as many strides forward as what I would like to and then other days I feel on top of the world and other days I feel like I'm so on my game and ahead of it and I just today, I was doing uh, some computer work and then I was doing some Instagram messages and I got an Instagram message that a girl just, I don't know why I let strangers get in my head, but it, I was doing a, long story short, I was doing a video doing a lap pull down and I was like, this is a cute video. Doing a little story on my Instagram story. Girl responds back and she's like, don't take this the wrong way. I'm like, oh no, what are you about to say to me? Don't take this the wrong way, but are your arms your problem area? And I'm like, girl, how am I not supposed to take that the wrong way? That's rude to say to someone. And some days I'll get messages like that and I will let it just go right, go right over my head. I'm like, I'm not going to let you ruin my day. Today I was like really letting that frustrate me and let it creep into my thoughts and... I don't know no one likes to hear that and maybe she didn't even mean anything by it I don't think it's a very nice message why you would say that to someone I know you wouldn't say that to your best friend like I would never walk up to my friend and be like hey is your midsection your problem area that's what I would guess are your arms your problem area girl goodbye so that annoyed me and then also I think my day was just kind of thrown off because I had the design meeting so I had to wake up I was rushing this morning if I don't have time to do like my normal morning routine, I just feel thrown off. That's my own fault. And I was in traffic, so I was almost late to my appointment. I just started my day off in like a hectic energy. And that's why I like to be 
early to everything so that I never feel like that. But we have days like that. I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I'm headed to Whole Foods now and then grab a couple things. I don't need much. I'm gonna head home and I need to knock out so much computer work. I have a lot of girls starting, or not a lot, but I have girls starting on Monday that I need to get all of their coaching finished, ready for them to start. So their macros and their workout programming, just like tie the bow, finish it all up, and that's probably gonna take a good couple hours tonight. And I also just, since I had a day of anxiety, I'm not even going to downplay it. Like today was like a day of anxiety. I, everything made me cry. Everything made me overwhelmed. And like some days you can't tell me anything. I will not have anything ruin my day. Other days, don't even look at me wrong. And today was one of those days. And it's not often, but some days are just like that. And Jay was like, what is going on? Like he's supportive, but he's like, what is going on? I'm like, I don't know. Ah, I don't even know and yeah so I want to make sure that tomorrow is not like that and I am going to make sure that my apartment is as clean as I can get it I want to make sure everything's organized because I feel like I've let things creep through the cracks where I've got like a very messy closet or like my pantry is kind of all over the place it's kind of overwhelming me a little bit I don't want to like cram my night to have me even more overwhelmed but I do want to grab a couple things from Whole Foods I want to get my work done and I also want to organize my apartment wouldn't mind going on a walk but we're just being ambitious here so let's head to Whole Foods and I will see you guys then I just figured I'd let you I'd keep you in the loop because sometimes I feel like I'm going insane but I also know that it's just we're human we are so human and sometimes we have days that we just don't really feel like ourselves or maybe we just are feeling a little overwhelmed and that's life so I'm with you if you ever have days like that where you just feel like I don't really know why I'm so overwhelmed I don't know why I'm anxious but I am I feel ya the only place to get gas <laughs> Mmm, I like the smell of this one. This one is the Citrus Grove. Look at my cute new carry-on from Bay's, and then this little, <laughs> you're okay. And then this, I guess this is like a fanny pack, typical fanny pack, super stinking cute. My big one is a black one, but I almost like this color a little bit better. My black one seems to get like kind of scratched up from being thrown around. And then Jay and I were at the airport or we were actually on the plane and we were like watching out the window, watching the guys put our suitcases in and they literally just throw it like without a care in the world. I'm like, no wonder my bags all get torn up. All right, I think we're gonna call it a day, right? We are. Peace out guys, <laughs> love your vlog. <laughs> I just wanted to see where you were gonna go with it. I just wanted to see. I, I was trying to think Put you in the spotlight. Said, um, I just adore you guys. Bye, love you. See you later. <laughs> but I think I'm going to, wow, we've got literal Christmas presents behind me. Let's not judge me, okay? We've still got some Christmas presents to get to some family. Um, I'm going to probably get some work done tonight and I'm just going to shower lay low either do some computer work on the couch or go down to the clubhouse in my apartment complex so that's what's on the agenda for the rest of the night i hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life and obviously i did a white fox haul so i hope you guys enjoyed my little white fox haul i'll make sure to link everything and thanks for watching and like jay said i adore y'all and i love y'all and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye guys